Well, welcome back. Part two of the Aussie Res V-Tail version. Um, I'm going to go slightly out of plan here. I think everybody was expecting me to do the fuselage next. I'm doing the V-Tail next. I must apologise. There's a bit of a gap between both videos. And I had some very sad news during the week. So I've got to be honest with you. I really haven't been asked to do it. But anyway, that is life. Now, V-Tail. Uh, and I want to discuss the V-Tail in a specific way. Because um, it's obviously very very important to get it accurately at the right angles and I'm going to go slightly different to as prescribed in the instructions so anyway first thing to do is get all your bits and pieces out which I'm going to show you but the golden key is don't take that off see that says top on there don't take that off whatever you do if you think it's just a bit of tape or is that is golden you, you've got to keep that on there so anyway um, you'll notice also that there's a specific orientation with the way that the um, two halves of the VTAL have done and I'm going to speak talk you through that now right so I've got all my bits and pieces out um, it, this it's not actually built on plan but I just thought it would make it quite easy to show you so what we need to do is you're going to need that carbon rod, which for me came in a separate bag with a little thing that said V-tail. Um, now, this is going to need cutting into various lengths. So you're going to need two of these cut at 40 millimeters, and then the two at the back are going to be 55 millimeters. So you're going to have to cut two at 40 and two at 55. These are the tubes, or a tube, and these are going to need to be cut, so you're going to need to cut two at 30 millimetres and then two at 45 millimetres. And you've possibly guessed the whole idea is, is they're just going to be dropping into there. Um, my advice is don't get using this as a gauge. Now, the other thing you're going to need is, you're not really going to need those at the moment, so put them away somewhere safe. But we are going to need these. And this is the bit where I'm going to go slightly off plan. So, get these cut, and let's come back and talk about what I'm doing. Now, a little tip here, if you are cutting your uh, tubes, and they're a little bit burred, if you've got a very nice sharp knife, a scalpel blade, I just stick mine in there like so, and that just gives you... Take all the swarf out. It's a, that's the end one. There you go. Right, let me talk you through the next bit and my thoughts on why I'm doing it. So, the theory is, is that this, you're supposed to push these carbon fibre push rods all the way through, like so. Leave them sticking with a couple of mil out, oh, well, like so, then the ones at the back. Now, the next process is what we've got to do, is we've got to put these tubes in here, like so, and then you've got these little fillers that go top and bottom. My concern is, if you don't get these tubes in absolutely square, you could end up with a little bit of a twist. Now. I have come up with a different idea. So what I'm going to do is, this building board is going to go because it's too soft. I am going to lay mine on the flat bench. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pop my tube in there like so. And then, when I'm happy that the measurement from, let me just show you here. So that the I can check that the measurement here, so in other words, the height between this and the bench and the height between this and the bench is exactly the same that way I know that that tube is absolutely sitting in square with that tailplane now the other thing to remember is once I've got it happy I need to be careful because we don't want to be gluing this in place so the idea is what I will do is when I've got it all when I'm happy with it I'm just gonna tack it 
there's, there's another piece to go on top and I am literally just going to pop a bit of weight, hold it all together, I'm going to slide the tube out and then just tack it. And when I'm happy, then I'm going to add everything else. But that's one way I think I can eliminate any errors. My apologies if it sounds really windy here at the moment. We've got a massive 40 mile an hour easterly breeze and it's actually making my cabin rock at the moment. <laughs> So the first thing we need to do is we need to get these the correct length and then cut them. So the idea is they're going to fit into there like so. I'm just going to do these two now. Remember we're going to need four of those. So I'm just going to cut these to length. So we are now going to pop one of those in there like so. That one in there. Like so. Making sure that it's seated down properly. Which currently it isn't. There you go. Now I'm gonna pop a little bit of weight in the mo in the there so it's not gonna move about anywhere. Remember, we want a long tube and a short tube. Just make sure that your dowels fit in and out of them. So here's a long tube and a short tube. So that fits in there like so. And that one then just fits in there like so. Now, I am now just going to pop this in place like so. And just make sure that this has got the same measurement all the way across it because if this is out at any stage this is where your angle is going to be wrong so I'm just going to eyeball this down here and make sure that my tube is sitting properly and that I've got a consistent gap all the way along here when I'm happy I'm just going to drop the tiniest little bit of Sino just in there but what I will do is is I think I'm just as I, I'm gonna just whip that out of there drop the sino in when we're happy that that is square and I will check it again because what you can actually do is if you've just wicked the bottom bits you can actually try it up against the fuselage when we're happy the idea is is that these are gonna go on top like so there she is now, um, I have not glued my pins in at the moment. I've just temporarily put them in there because I just wanted to check, got all excited and I had to show you. Um, so yeah, very, very pleased with that. Uh, looking at it on the bench and checking the measurements, it all looks pucker. So uh, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, <laughs> I've got this gauge here. I haven't quite figured out how it works yet. So when I have, I'll get back to you. But anyway, V-tail, done. The uh, control horns um, I will add because I'm going to do a whole in whole video on installation. But for the time being, um, I'm just gonna sand this to shape, being very careful. But at the moment, I'm not adding the horns. This is all now gonna get sanded, sanded to shape. I am gonna fix these with Sino, and then we're on to the fuselage. So I know that's a fairly sharp, uh, fairly short video, but um, I'm pretty pleased with how that's gone actually. Um, and I just think it's, for me, eliminated any possible errors with the tubes.